We begin our Hargeisa food tour in the very heart of Hargeisa with a family invitation. We were invited to have a lovely lunch with relatives who were seeing each other for the first time in a long time. So Mali food is not just about eating rice and pasta with your hands and a banana. Rather, it's more of a communal experience, a moment in which women and children make memories in the kitchen. They come together, share stories, skills, and love. They sit back and learn from the elder Hoyles who introduced them to a world beyond hawash or spices and into a world deeply rooted in love, tradition, and Quran. The family cooks a delicious flavor-packed meal of Somali fried fish and chicken, a spicy sugo made of carrots, onions, and minced meat, which is delicately dressed over buttery pasta. Stewed hile board meat sits on the side, flavored with a myriad of Somali and Ethiopian spices. And to wash it all down, they made an avocado and banana milkshake, which is the perfect, refreshing way to end the meal. Traditionally, Somalis serve the meal with a bowl of fresh water to wash their hands and then dig in all together on one plate, eating with their hands from their side and sharing conversation. The guests are served first alongside the children before the hostess sits down to eat herself. And even once she sits down, she insists that her guests join her once again to eat from her plate. Once the meal is done, the family enjoys a delicious snack of popcorn, chocolate cake, and delicious, aromatic Somali tea. And they end their day with relaxation and conversation. Our Hargeisa food tour continues into more up-class fusion Somali food with flavors that suit the diaspora and foreign communities. We enjoy the colorful sights and sensational environments of Cafe Mocha with aromas of oven-grilled pizzas and fresh strawberry milkshakes. <laughs> Our next stop is to the beautiful Cookies Time Cafe, which specializes in fresh pastries and Italian favorites. Although Somaliland, the self-proclaimed independent nation, was occupied once by the British, while its neighbor Somalia was occupied by the Italians, it often shares many delicacies from the neighboring southern Somalia. Here we enjoyed rich, decadent cheesecake and ricotta raviolis dressed with olive oil, a little bit of parsley, and once again, a beautiful and refreshing strawberry smoothie. <laughs> Due to the recent political crisis, there has been an influx of Yemeni refugees in Hargeisa bringing with them culture, language, business, and most of all, food, 
a delicious taste of Yemen coming right from the well-known local franchise, the Yemen Saeed Restaurant. The Yemen Saeed Market and Restaurant provides a variety of Arab produce, fresh dates, milk, nuts, khubs, and also more local favorites. The restaurant services several popular Yemen and Somali dishes, but of course my absolute favorite is the grilled chicken with mendi rice. This is the juiciest, most flavorful chicken you'll probably ever find. With a crispy golden skin and melt-in-your-mouth meat, served over fluffy rice, fresh veggies, and a sauce that's the perfect mix of vinegar and spice, I'm getting hungry just thinking about this dish. Yes, your eyes are seeing right. <laughs> Next up is El Beg, the popular Arabic chicken franchise. You can find several real franchises in Hargeza nowadays, but El Beg is my absolute favorite with their crispy fried chicken, perfectly salted and crisp fries, and this spicy mayo type of sauce, which I just can't get enough of. In fact, El Beg and the baklava has got to be my favorite in Hargeza. Our last stop ends at the very classy Damal Hotel. I actually saw Damal Hotel when it first opened, but it just keeps getting more and more beautiful each year. Damal Hotel stands in the center of Hargeza's bustling downtown and serves as a place for youth to come together, take pictures, and enjoy a moment of peace and quiet. It is the perfect environment for a romantic date night or even a business meeting. In fact, it is a common meeting place for Somaliland's foreign population. While I was not able to explore all of Hargeza's popular top eateries, most notably places such as Hitodor, known for serving traditional Somali food, and Desi or Habesha, which is known for serving traditional Ethiopian dishes, I hope this documentary was able to give you insight on not only Somaliland's foodie-worthy hotspots, but also its beautiful environment and culture. Somaliland offers a simplistic door to the world of Somali community in East Africa. This trip in Hargeza food tour was definitely a moment to make cherishable, everlasting memories and fill my greedy eyes right before I get to But if you are feeding my home, then I am telling you to come and see for yourself what Somali food is all about and what Hargeza has Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.